put some primer on this one and uh, maybe we can get some paint on it. Might be a bit early for doing that because we need to get it dry. So at the moment oh, I'm just giving it a quick uh, one so with the old uh, panel wipe here. So I'll just give it a douse down and uh, we'll get all that uh, oily finger marks off, off the panel guys. So I'll just give it a quick go on so uh, Anyway, I'll show you what I've been doing to the uh, passion of the door. So there it is guys. What I've had to do is to make some alterations to that curve. Was um, Yeah, it wasn't right at all. Uh, so I've had to make another plate for the inside. Um, which I've done all off camera. Uh, but incidentally, I have now got a gap running down the side of the door. Um, what I've done to get that, uh, I'll show you, excuse me tailgate, bumper, bumper, boot lid, uh, what I've done, I've taken a little bit off the hinges, I mean these hinges are like super fat, uh, so what I've done, I've taken about two, maybe, th yeah, say about two mil off them, um, you can see, uh, Start by making my spray boom again. New one got ripped. Good to go, guys. Let's get this spray boom up, shall we? Right guys, back on the door, because we damaged the paintwork and we damaged the, some of the body filler. Uh, when I was making some adjustments to the door. Uh, so, I'm going to uh, knock this car body filler down. And then uh, I'm going to block and uh, repaint the whole door again. Um, so, but I'm happy with the gap that I've got there now. And also I'm happy with the gap I've got there. I'll bring you guys back in a minute. Honest. So I'm gonna crack on with this now. And hopefully, next time you see me, I'll have another spray gun to be hand with some white paint in it. Just a little coat there. <clears throat> Just coat that and uh, we'll go over it now. We'll another wet coat in a few more minutes. So, well, that should be 20 minutes. But again, you'll see it in about that long. See you in a bit, guys. A few moments later. Well, the bolt holes are all, all lined up. bolted on. Um, I'll show the gaps that I've got. So you remember the gaps down the uh, that makes the A post. Um, yeah, they're quite tight up against there. It's not a lot of movement to go further forward. Well, as you agree, I think it's not a bad gap that like, actually all the way down. Uh, however, it is a little bit in. But I'm fully out on the hinge and. A little bit out here, so 
got to be careful with the paint guys, it's still a bit soft. It's going off, but anyway, there's the gap that I've achieved on this side. I think you'll agree, that's pretty good, that gap. I'm happy with that. So that's from taking a little bit off the hinges. Like I said, I took about two, two more off the hinges, just to bring it further forward. And uh, the bottom of it is actually sitting back again. I'm happy with that, you know what I mean? I'm not looking. It's uh, it's an ex-police car. It's probably had, I don't know, a couple, couple of cars, you know, done impacts and stuff, and I don't know. It's probably got some history to tell this car, I would expect. Um, so what I'm going to do now, guys, so what I'm going to do now, guys, I'm just going to go back in the garage and I'm going to start making a... Um, so I'm flattening that boot lid down. Incidentally, I've actually put the police light on. Um, that's all bolted down now. Uh, I'll show you. So, put these little rubber blocks underneath it, with a little bit of sealer underneath it, on both sides. So she's all fastened on there now. Uh, I've got the wire in here, which is actually coming to, I've come through, um, Got saying the roll cage on the top there, it meets the headlining coming down through the boot here. I'm going to go to the backlight to wire it up. So, the backlight obviously, you see your lights on? That light will come on. There you go, guys. Stop waffling now. When I get back in the garage, I'm going to start flattening that boot lid down. So, I'd like to get that in paint, you see, and then uh, let that harden overnight. And I can come back and refit it on the car. See you in a minute, guys. Right guys, here's something for you. Years ago, I bought a box of old radios, for uh, police radios. Uh, I was going to get one, put it in the Sweeney car. Um, but as you know, she's still waiting. So I might actually see if I can find one and put it in this here. So I've been up in the loft, and there's the box. So uh, let's have a quick rummage through, see what we can find. I don't know what's in here, guys. I know there's about three or four radios in here. So, we'll have a look, as you can see, police radios, oh, we've got a walkie talkie mm. thing, uh, what else have we got here, so I know it's on the Morris Spider there, they've got the, the brackets underneath it, so there's another one that's very similar to that, oh it's nice little, oh yeah, you've got channels, yeah, so uh, that's got the walkie on it as well. That looks a bit modern, that one. I don't know, 70s, yeah, might be. I'll check to see the date on them. Um, I don't know, it might be a date. It's nice to have a 1970s radio, isn't it? In the old 1970s. Oh my days, that's an old one. Good say of that. What the fuck? That's the same. One that's in the car. Yeah, that's the same one that's in the car. There you go, guys. What else we got here? Some more. Another one. That's, that's, that's three, isn't it? Fit to me cars, start talking to me mates, all some drowning around the road. <laughs> oh, that's 1991 on there. So yeah, I suspected that was a bit of a modern one. Dog's probably having an argument with a with a fly flying past the gate. But yeah, this looks a bit. This one here looks a bit. 70s with the old uh, clicky clicky there. Rub it up, rub it up, you got your ears on. Yeah, yeah we got uh, volume, channels, six channels. Wow, there you go. This looks like a 1950s one, this. Could be wrong. Can't see any dates on it. Um, 
take this to the car with this one. Show you. What a, there's no holes on the side of this one. So, oh, not right. That's got holes on the side of that one there. Let's take this 50s one. Well, I think it's 50s, but for all I know, it could be like a 70s one. I'll show you the brackets I've got inside the car. There's also a plug as well. So there's the brackets there. As you can see now, let's get a torch. So there's the brackets there, guys. That's a windscreen washer, and there's an aerial wire here. Well, I did notice there was something in there as well, in there, or a wire in. Not sure where that goes either. Right. This one here. Well, I don't know, guys. <laughs> yeah, we're looking pretty good on that one. Wow, so it does, so this one will fit. So maybe this is the one for this car. Wow. Yeah, because that's the same, this walkie-talkie that's attached. Let me turn that torch off, it's probably blinding you. That's the walkie-talkie that was in the car when I bought it. There she is there. That's it. There's one that was in the car when I bought it. She was up there. Well, there you go, guys. I think I'll uh, screw that in there. It was quite nice, isn't it? Because the uh, colour of the buttons with uh we're matching <laughs> hey dearie me anyway so yeah we'll get that in there eh uh i'm not gonna say it's gonna work or anything but just for um to please the eye and again there's a little red light on it there you know i might light up the ignition and get it so it lights up let's take it from there guys so yeah, please with that, I'm going to get that mounted. There's more messing about I'm doing. I'm waiting for the paint to go off on the uh, on the tailgate, on the boot lid, so I can fly it and get it in paint. So I'm just going around with some bits of stuff that I've got lying around. So I'll see you in a few minutes, guys. I'm going to get some screws. We'll put this on the underneath the dashboard. See you in a minute, guys. Well, there it is, guys. It's fitted. Um, I've not drilled it or messed about with it but uh, I think that was meant to be I mean that radio comes right to the front of that dashboard right there and uh, and about you guys what do you reckon meant to be or just a good looking a good fit lucky fit I'm personally thinking it's meant to be uh, I got lucky there uh, that thing was in there as well I'm not sure if that's original or not I don't know but anyway that was in the car when I, when I got it so I'll take that. Um, yeah, happy with that. So uh, I'm gonna go and try and get this uh, boot lift flattened down now, and I can get it uh, in paint. See you in a minute, guys.
Right guys, thanks for coming back. I'll uh, end this video right here now. I don't know if you've just seen what happened there. I pressed the trigger. Uh, everything was going fine. Um, I was doing a um, couple of even strokes and I pressed the trigger and no air came out, just paint. Big blobs of paint all over my panel. So I had to lift the panel up to like, you know, in the flatter area to like get the paint to lie flat. So I didn't have a big whoop, uh, whoopie doobies running down it. Um, we can do some weird thing here. Anyway. Yeah, so I didn't want to get loads of runs all over it, but um, I've got one or two runs at the bottom here in the corners. You know, um, so I think I will be blocking it back anyway. Um, so anyway, the next video you'll see this being fitted and uh, I'll get the other door off and then we can uh, start on the other door and then that's it. Then really we're more or less done for the panel repairs on that Morris Minor police car. Um, I am a bit of a time scale because I'd like to get to a classic car show you know, beginning of June so I'd like to try and get it done before then. So thanks for got again watching and also new subscribers thank you very much for all subscribing and all coming back. Um, yeah, it's great it's nice to uh, see so many people watching my videos and my stupidness with my classic cars. Thanks again guys see you later.